The Watchers of the Sky and the Eternal Gaze, the mystery of the vanishing stars has always carried secrets beyond human comprehension. Secrets so vast, so unfathomable, that even the greatest thinkers of every age have struggled to hold them in their grasp. For every answer uncovered, a thousand new questions seem to rise, each more elusive than the last. For countless centuries, humanity has lifted its eyes to the heavens. Ancient civilizations stood beneath the same canopy of stars that we see today. To them, the sky was not empty darkness sprinkled with light. It was a living map, a sacred canvas painted with destiny. They drew constellations across the blackness, connecting distant points of fire into stories of gods, heroes, and monsters. The heavens became a stage where myths unfolded, where fate itself was written in starlight. To those early observers, stars were not simply glowing spheres of burning gas. They were eternal fires. Guides for travelers. Omens for kings. Messengers from the divine. Philosophers of old debated endlessly. Were these lights above unchanging, fixed forever in perfection? Or were they like all mortal things, born, living, and destined to fade into nothingness? Every generation of dreamers asked the same question, were the heavens permanent? Or were they fragile, fleeting, and subject to time itself? Then came science. The telescope of Galileo. The equations of Newton. The quiet brilliance of minds who dared to challenge ancient belief. With each invention, each discovery, humanity peeled back a fragment of the cosmic curtain. One revelation after another drew us deeper into the truth of the universe. And yet, the cosmos always seemed one step ahead. For every mystery solved, a greater one emerged, cloaked in deeper shadows. Now, in the 21st century, we possess a tool unlike any that came before. The James Webb Space Telescope. This is not merely a machine of mirrors, glass, and metal. It is the embodiment of human ambition, born from the collective dreams of generations. A golden eye, polished with patience, sharpened with determination. A cosmic time machine capable of reaching back across billions of years, to the universe's earliest moments. Its journey was long, costly, and uncertain. Nearly ten billion dollars in expense. Decades of delays. Countless redesigns, doubts, and failures. For years, Webb was little more than blueprints, a dream suspended between imagination and reality. But today, it floats silently in the void, orbiting at the very edge of darkness. A sentinel. A monument to determination. A promise that humanity will never stop reaching beyond itself. For more than two years now, Webb has delivered wonders beyond imagination. Images not merely captured, but revealed, portraits of the cosmos drawn in ancient light. They show the births of stars. The collisions of galaxies, violent yet beautiful. And faint glimmers of radiance that began their journey before Earth was ever formed. Webb does not simply equal its predecessor, the Hubble, it surpasses it. Where Hubble unveiled the beauty of visible light, Webb pierces into the infrared. It strips away the veil of darkness, uncovering worlds hidden since the dawn of time. Unseen patterns. Invisible structures. Secrets that lay waiting in silence for billions of years. And then, in July 2022, Webb turned its golden mirrors toward the faintest, most ancient signals. Light stretched thin by the universe's relentless expansion. Radiation so fragile that it had traveled from the dawn of creation itself. Galaxies glowing with the faint fire of beginnings. What Webb revealed would shake the very foundation of human understanding. The vanishing stars what it found defied all expectation. Nearly 900 trillion stars had vanished. Not fading slowly into the night not collapsing in fiery death throes. 
but gone, completely, silently, as if erased from existence itself. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific world. How could such a staggering multitude of suns, vast furnaces of light and life, simply disappear without leaving a single trace? Where had they gone? And what unimaginable process could erase them on such a scale? Some astronomers whispered of the simplest explanation. Perhaps the stars were still there, hidden behind colossal veils of interstellar dust, clouds so dense, so unyielding, that not even Webb's piercing eyes could see through them. Others suggested the stars had simply aged. Once burning with brilliance, they may have dimmed into obscurity, shrinking into cold embers swallowed by time. Their brilliance lost, leaving behind only faint shadows in the eternal night. Still others proposed something far darker. What if these stars had collapsed directly into black holes? No explosions. No supernovae. No final blaze of glory. Just silence. An entire sea of sun swallowed by invisible gravity, leaving behind nothing but their unseen pull on the fabric of space. Yet even this theory faltered. For how could even the hunger of black holes explain the vanishing of 900 trillion suns? It was not merely a disappearance. It was a message, etched across the heavens. A warning written in light, and in its sudden absence. To understand this message, we must return to the foundations of modern cosmology. A century ago, Edwin Hubble shattered the ancient illusion of a static cosmos. He revealed that galaxies were not fixed in place but were drifting apart, carried by the very stretching of space itself. Decades later, an even greater truth was revealed. The expansion of the universe is not slowing. It is accelerating, driven by an unseen force we call dark energy. Dark energy is untouchable, invisible, and immeasurable. Yet it dominates everything. It makes up nearly 68% of the universe. Dark matter, another unseen substance binding galaxies together, accounts for another 27%. And ordinary matter, the stars, the planets, the life we know, makes up less than 5%. This balance determines the fate of the cosmos. Because dark energy rules, most galaxies are already lost to us. Accelerating away, faster and faster, until they vanish beyond our cosmic horizon. Already, 94% of the universe lies beyond our reach. Every second, between 20 and 60,000 stars cross the horizon of visibility. The sky above us, brilliant as it seems, is in truth a museum of ghosts. Every star we see is not what it is, but what it once was. The disappearance of 900 trillion stars forces us to confront the unthinkable. Did they truly collapse into silence? Or is some unknown law of physics at work, hidden beyond our grasp? A process too vast, too alien for us to comprehend? Whatever the truth, the implications are profound. Not just for astronomy, but for the very nature of matter, of time, of reality itself. Webb teaches us this. Nothing is permanent. Galaxies unravel. Stars vanish. Even the universe itself slips slowly away. Exploration, then, is more than science. It is a race against time. Every telescope is a time machine. Every observation, a fleeting glimpse at something that may never be seen again. The James Webb Space Telescope is not merely an instrument of glass and gold. It is humanity's window into existence. A golden eye gazing into eternity. Its discoveries are not only puzzles, they are warnings. And they are promises. The vanishing stars remind us that the universe is fragile, impermanent, fleeting. Yet Webb shows us something greater. That even though we are small, even though we are fragile, even though our time is brief, 
We are also ambitious, relentless, unyielding. For every photon we capture, for every secret we uncover, for every mystery we dare to confront, we prove that even in a universe of vanishing stars, 